Hi, everyone. We're going to have a look at sprint number 18 during the break here. So, Minji was researching the countries of Burkina Faso, Paraguay, and Indonesia. She spent 50% less time researching Paraguay than Burkina Faso, and 40% less time researching Indonesia than Paraguay. Given that she spent a total of 3.6 hours doing research, how many minutes did Mijin spend researching Burkina Faso? Okay, well, we want our answer in minutes, and we've got this 3.6 hours, which is not in minutes, and it's a decimal, so it's just bad all around. Let's fix that. Um, right, also, we need some variables. Well, we need some variables. We need a variable for Burkina, her, the time she spends researching Burkina Faso, Paraguay, and Indonesia. And those all start with different letters. So let's say they add up to 3.6 hours. B plus P plus I is 3.6 hours. Three hours is 180 minutes, right? 60 times 3. 0.6 hours, that's six tenths of an hour. One tenth of an hour is 60 divided by 10 is six minutes. So six tenths of an hour is 36 minutes. Add those up, 216 minutes is 3.6 hours. All right, now we've got all this stuff. She spent 50% less time researching Paraguay than Burkina Faso, and 40% less time researching Indonesia than Paraguay. This is awful, it's got a lot of words in it. We don't want to do words, we want to do math. So, let's change this into math. 50% less time researching Paraguay than Burkina Faso. That means that P is 50% of B. She spent 40% less time researching Indonesia than Paraguay. Does that mean that I is 40% of P? No, it means that I is 60% because it's not 40% as much time, it's 40% less time. So good trap to avoid there. And now we've got our two equations. P is one half B, I is three fifths P, six tenths, right? Three fifths, we can simplify fractions. Um, so let's go ahead and substitute in. We know that P is one half B and I is three fifths times P. So it's three fifths times one half B, which is three tenths B. Okay, and actually what we want to know is how many minutes did Mijin spend researching Burkina Faso? And now we've got our other two variables in terms of B, which means we can get rid of them and have an equation with just Bs in it, which is good because B is what we want. So B, and then P is one half B, so we replace that. And then I is three tenths B, so we replace that. And those add up to 216. Okay, well, we've got to do some fractions now, it looks like. Let's make these all into tenths. B is 10 tenths B. One half B is five tenths B. And three tenths B, of course, is three tenths B. If we add those all up, we have 10 tenths plus 5 tenths plus 3 tenths. So 10 plus 5 plus 3 is 18 tenths B is 216. All right, now we should do 216 divided by 18. That's going to be so hard. What are we going to do? Well, this is not actually that hard if you do a long division, but 216 might look familiar. If it does, it's probably because it is 6 cubed, 6 times 6 times 6. So when we divide by 18, we can divide by 6 and get rid of one of those 6s. We can divide by 3 and turn another of the 6s into 2s. So now we know 1 tenth b is 6 times 2 which means b is 6 times 2 times 10, multiply 3 by 10 on both sides, and b is 120. All right, let's just check that we're actually finding the answer to this problem. We want to know how many minutes, we've got this in minutes, she spent researching Burkina Faso, that's what b stands for, so it looks like 120 is our answer. Hey, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.